The time was the early 1990s. Tissue engineering, once the realm of science fiction, was becoming a major area of scientific inquiry. Could it be the answer to the transplantation crisis? Could we cure diabetes? Could we treat once untreatable brain and bone injuries? The promise was there, but the challenges were many. We felt that because of the fledgling state of tissue engineering, which ultimately we thought was going to have a major impact on patient therapies and treatments in this country, that there needed to be a cohesive center with faculty working as a team and working with industry. That team became GTEC, an internationally recognized leader in tissue engineering and regenerative medicine. This will be one of those places where we'll look back and we'll say they were ahead of the curve, they were in front of the technology, they understood the problems sooner than most, and were able to contribute to addressing the unmet needs. GTEC has been addressing those needs through a unique partnership between Georgia Tech's Parker Petit Institute for Bioengineering and Bioscience and Emory University. The level of interaction, collaboration is remarkable and I speak about it nationally as an example where other institutions uh, just shake their head. These are all no particles, right? No particles, yeah. That partnership brought more to GTEC than talented researchers. It brought scientists, engineers, and clinicians together in new and exciting combinations. I think in many areas of technology, including medical technology, the real challenges, the real interesting problems, are at the interface of disciplines. But getting different departments and disciplines working together isn't always easy. GTEC has shown the remarkable ability not just to create a truly interdisciplinary environment, but to sustain it. I think the advantage we have here is that it's easier for people to work together on things. In that sense, we are ahead of the curve structurally. You have engineers, you have chemists, you have you know, biologists, you have clinicians like myself, you know, that's a pretty unique mix. And, uh, you know, it's very free and open in terms of interaction and collaboration. It's collaboration that's delivering. GTEx investigators are providing new, crucial insights into how our bodies function. And GTEx research teams are using those insights to work toward developing technologies that will address some of the most important issues facing human health. You know, this is a very unique place. We have fantastic, very well-renowned researchers, but we all get along. And, you know, we're, I guess, humble enough to realize that we don't know everything and we can really benefit from having other expertise and other points of view. GTEC researchers also benefit from access to a wide range of powerful tools, or core facilities. Some of those core facilities really have been responsible for some of the people that are here now. Uh, several of the faculty we have, some of, several of the center grants that we had would never have been possible without the core facilities. They're state of the art, they reflect what people really need, they're usable, they're not sitting in somebody's laboratory on inaccessible. People have to physically come here for certain things and that they need to uh, do their research. And, you know, passing each other in the hall may sound like just a trivial thing, but it's really not. Um, you need that kind of interaction. Because you can see the C4 fracture here. Those interactions, particularly with clinicians at Emory, also keep GTEC's focus on real-life applications. It's critical. There's nothing worse than inventing something that will never be used. And oftentimes it's easy to invent, but there is a big, big gap between invention and practical use by a clinician. Just to get into a human, oftentimes we invent and we don't think about what the clinician actually can use. GTEC's industrial partners also help keep research focused and relevant. They want to see things move ahead. They want to see us take stuff uh, from that discovery phase of whatever it might be to something that can actually become a useful application. You know, when you can start to translate right out of your lab and have people interested in that, it's kind of, it, it's exciting. 
you have to check your ego at the door because they're going to tell you this is wrong. Nobody likes to hear that they've been working very hard and that that's wrong. Uh, but a lot of it is understanding their perspective and taking that into account. G-Tech is opening new doors and expanding its focus. The emergence of stem cell research is leading us toward a new and exciting area called regenerative medicine. One of the big ideas that is coming out of G-Tech is this concept of regenerative capacity. Why is it that some people heal faster than others? And how we manipulate that with drugs or cells or materials or other ways. And this could not have happened but for the close interaction with them. There's just no way. Excitement about that partnership continues to grow as we build on our successes. I'm tremendously excited, tremendously excited. In some ways, it's inevitable that we'll do remarkable things. I really think so. If you take good people and a good environment, you will have good things happen. It's, it's as simple as that.